I was sitting around the house on this day debating on whether or not I should put up my Christmas decorations. And I'm not one of those YouTubers that buys a lot of Christmas decor. I don't change everything for every season. So I figured I'm just going to wait until I normally put up my tree, which is Thanksgiving weekend. Because I don't really have anything that you guys are going to want to buy. I don't have like fancy decor that I'm going to link anything to so that you can rush out and buy it. Anything that I do have, I probably got from Amazon or it's 30 years old and no chance you're going to find it anywhere anyway. So today is just a whole house clean with me. I touch every single room and just kind of do a light cleaning around the house to get ready for next week when I put up my Christmas decorations. This beautiful brightly colored room is my granddaughter's room and she was here the weekend before I believe and she doesn't live with me but she comes and stays with me over the weekend once in a while so she doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in here that gets messed up and even when she's here she's 14 so she just makes her bed and cleans her room but I haven't dusted in here for a while so I'm taking care of that and doing a quick vacuum because I do come in here with the dogs every day to feed Richard twice a day Richard is her fish and I make sure that he stays alive It's getting a little bit colder here in Texas, so I had to get a little bit warmer blanket for the baby. I'm going to change her sheets here. I do this, I don't know, once or twice a week, depending on how often she's here. I got this little pack and play tent back when my daughter was staying here. She used to ask me to get out of the bed in the middle of the night. She would wake me up and say, can I get out? Can I get out? And I would always wake up and say no, but I was afraid that she would wake up in the middle of the night and just climb out. And because she's in this nail room now, which is like, you know, my guest bedroom, it's not really baby proof. And of course you can see all the hundreds of bottles of nail polish that is on the desk. There is a thousand more of them in the cabinet that is to the left of this desk. So of course I don't want her to climb out of bed in the middle of the night and get into any of this nail polish. So I bought this little baby tent thing and it is fantastic. 10 out of 10 recommend if you have a toddler that is climbing out of their bed or you're scared that they might climb out of their bed, definitely recommend getting this. It is really high quality. It's like a thicker kind of mosquito netting mesh stuff, but not something like if they push on it, it's not gonna tear or break. And it kind of acts like one of those little pop-up tents. So that's what you see the little dome over the top. And if you wanted to fold it up and put it away, you could, although I never do. When I'm watching these videos back during the editing process and I'm doing these voiceovers, I always look at something like these shelves, for example, and I think, that's just too much stuff on there. But then I look at everything that I'm touching, and other than that blue little C that you see up there, 
Everything has like some sort of sentimental value. There's a picture of me and my best friend from, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago. There's a little plaque that she got me. There's a unicorn spit picture that my granddaughter made in 2019. There's another little canvas art thing that she made, you know, just like random things. Oh, and there's a little dead bird that one of my nail friends um, painted for me because, <laughs> fun fact, I take pictures of dead birds and collect them in a photo album on Facebook. <laughs> oh, I should do like a fun fact about me kind of video. Anyway, let's just move on to one of the very rarely seen rooms in my house, which is the hall slash guest bathroom. Nobody really uses this bathroom except for the baby when I give her a bath. And she sits on the sink here to brush her teeth every night before she goes to bed. I'm just doing a quick wipe down here of everything in the bathroom. It's more dusty than dirty, so I'm just wiping it with some Clorox wipes and moving on. I've been trying to do a lot better about keeping my room dust free. It really does help my allergies a lot. So I probably dust my room at least two or three times a week and I vacuum in here every single day. Especially because both dogs typically sleep in here in their little bed around the corner all day long while I'm working and then at night. They come in and out at night but I just like to make sure that it's as dust and dander and dog hair free as possible. A month or so ago, I saw those really cool knot pillows pop up on my Amazon feed as I was scrolling in the things you might like section. And I added one to my cart, but I didn't immediately check out and buy it. And I'm really glad I didn't because the pillow was $40 for a 14 inch size, which is about the size you see me folding up this blanket. Then I saw do it on the dime fold up a throw blanket into one of these knot pillows and I thought that was genius. So every time I make my bed now, I fold my little blanket into this knot pillow and save myself $40. This blue bottle that you see me using for all the dusting in my room is pretty much my go-to these days. My daughter had a bottle of Thieves Concentrate in her garage when she moved into her new apartment. And I said, ooh, can I have that? And she said, sure, probably not knowing what it was. And ever since I got it, I keep mixing it up and I have used this pretty religiously instead of any other cleaners or all-purpose sprays. This is the one that I always grab because it smells so good and as you can see throughout my house, I use it on my wood, my little fake wood laminate dressers and stuff here. And I can also use it on windows and mirrors without it getting streaky and it smells so good, so, so good. So this is one that I'm probably going to repurchase when I've used up that bottle because I really like it a lot. One step forward and another back I will never try to fool you 
I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Closer, closer, I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby, got me hooked on you once again Another chance, loving you is all I wanted. I'm wide open for a love affair, girl. When you're looking like that. Here's another fun fact about my YouTube videos when I'm recording. I always pan the room and show you the after whenever I'm done cleaning, but I very rarely include it in my videos. I don't really know why I don't, and I debated on whether or not I should include this, mostly because I think. You've already just seen me clean the entire room. You don't really care what it looks like anymore. Just move on. And that's just me thinking that because probably when I'm watching a cleaning video, I'm like, just move on. I want to see you clean. I don't want to see the clean room. Let me know in the comments if you like the before and afters of the clean room or if you are just down for the cleaning and cut to the chase. When I first got this couch, I didn't let either one of my dogs up on here, but I quickly realized they both love to just sit here and look out the window. So I put this little blanket on here so I don't have a couch full of dog hair and dog smell. And I also changed this out usually about once a week. I change it unless they've been outside and they got mud on their feet and then they jump on this to people watch out the window. I will wash it usually every day when that happens. I have two of them though, two identical ones. Well, one is blue and one is gray, but they're very light colored, so they look the same, but I just switch them out every couple of days. Up until this point, I have been at home cleaning by myself, but now I'm no longer by myself. So you will see me turn around and stop and pause and talk to someone. I usually edit that out, but in a minute here, I'm going to describe to her what I do when I have the dogs and her daughter. It's the, ba the baby that I babysit. It's her mom. Her and her mom are here now. And I'm talking to her, telling her about continuity in my videos and why I kick the dogs out because then they, I have to cut them out and then they magically appear or disappear in the room. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing here is the hand motions I'm talking to her about cutting the uh, video and then a dog magically appearing in the room. So I just kick them out of the room when I'm cleaning. Teardrops start to dry And even when the sun begins to shine Again I've taken all the advice there is And none of it has helped
Do you guys remember a couple weeks ago when I cleaned this entire wall of bookshelves in one day? Let me tell you, it was not fun and there's a lot of stuff here that was really filthy and taking it all down to clean it and then put it all back was really time consuming and not a fun job. When I tackled that project, I vowed to not wait a year before I do it again. So this is me doing it again. Normally I would use like a little Swiffer duster thing, but I saw this on Grove Collaborative and I ordered it thinking it would help me keep up with it. This is a lot more sturdy than the little Swiffer dusters. So I'm being careful when I'm touching anything that's breakable because it will knock it over. Whereas the Swiffer dusters are really super light and they'll just go in between things very easily. This duster that I'm using is a lot more sturdy and it did the job. I mean, the duster itself was filthy and it is washable. So I just take it off when I'm done, throw it in the wash, and then I have it again for next time. But as you can see here, it did go pretty quickly and I'm sure if I maintain it on a normal schedule, it's not going to take me an entire day to do it like it did last time. When everything's gone, it's hard to be strong. As you may have just noticed, I am not home alone again. The baby was napping, or still is napping, and my husband just got here, so I'm going to take a break, talk to him, do some other things around the house until the baby wakes up, and then I'm gonna get back to cleaning. It's now several hours later and dark outside as you can, well, maybe you can't see it, but it's dark outside. You can see out that window, it's dark. And I see my water bottle still sitting there pretty much untouched from where it was earlier in the video. I try so hard to drink water all day long and I just can only make it through about half of that container in an entire day. My goal is to drink the entire thing and there's a rare occasion when I do, but normally I can only get about half of it down. We are Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit and will you lock me down? I know I feel it's something for you. Hey. 
I do appreciate you watching my video today. I know you have a lot of options out there for cleaning videos and I'm really grateful that you spent 20 minutes of your time watching mine. So if you made it all the way to the end and you haven't hit that like button, please do that because it really helps my channel a lot. It lets YouTube know that you like this sort of content so it'll show you more. And it also lets YouTube know that this is content people like and they'll show it to other people. If you're not subscribed, please make sure that you also do that before you go. I'll link some of the products that I mentioned in this video down below if you're interested, and I will see you next week.